Hello, Grade 5 learners. Welcome to my science class. We are now in Quarter 3, Week 3. And our lesson is how light interacts with different materials. The competency for today's lesson is relate the ability of the material to block, absorb, or transmit light to its use. And to start with, let us have a short review of our previous lesson. Analyze the following pictures. Classify them as conductor or insulator. Write your answer on your paper. Copper wire. Conductor. Metal spoon. Conductor. Skirt. Insulator Television Conductor Pencil Insulator And now we are ready for a new lesson. Have you seen an artwork on a stained glass? Stained glasses are seen in churches art museums, and even in some houses. The design on stained glasses are achieved through the use of glasses with various colors and hues. The light that partially gets through stained glasses highlights the different colors and hues, making them a sight to behold. While light partially gets through a stained glass, some materials like a wooden door do not allow light to pass through them. There are also materials like the clear glass windows that let light shine through them. The light that is visible to the human eye is called visible light or simply light. The visible light is only part of the electromagnetic spectrum or EM. The EM shows the entire range of waves present in our world. The primary source of visible light is the sun. The visible light allows us to see the color that is not absorbed by the object. For example, we see most plants are green because the leaves absorb all colors of the visible light except green. To understand light farther, we have to study how it interacts with different objects. This branch of science is called optics. Optics is a study of the refraction, reflection, absorption, and transmission of light. Refraction Refraction refers to the bending of light as it passes through different materials. For example, the straw in a glass of water appears bent because of the different parts of the material that interact with light. The part of the straw that is not dipped in water interacts with the air, while the part of the straw dipped in water interacts with the water. Light moves faster in air than in water. This is why the straw looks bent. Reflection Reflection refers to the bouncing back of light when it hits an object. Some objects with flat surfaces, like mirrors, reflect light in a straight, predictable way. Some objects with uneven surfaces, like rocks, reflect light in a scattered way. Absorption Absorption refers to the materials taking in of light and not reflecting it back. 
For example, when light strikes a black surface, it is absorbed by the surface and nothing is reflected. Transmission Transmission refers to the passing of light through some materials. For example, when light passes through a glass window, it is transmitted to the other side, allowing the light to pass through the window. This picture shows the reflection, absorption, and transmission of light. Different materials have different ways of transmitting light. Transparent materials allow light to pass through them. Clear plastic and glass windows are examples of this. Translucent materials allow some light to pass through them. Stained glasses and frosted windows are examples. Opaque materials do not allow light to pass through them. Example, concrete walls, wooden doors. And now, you are ready for a short activity. Please do the following procedures and answer the questions that follow on a paper. Remember, Light interacts with different materials in different ways. It gets reflected by some smooth, flat surface. Light can pass through transparent materials, can partially pass through translucent materials, and cannot pass through opaque materials. And now, we are ready for a test. Test A. Match column 1 with column 2. Test B. Identify the following objects as transparent, translucent, or opaque. Write your answers on your notebook. 